Well, going to Pot Willie's, boy. Huh? We going to Pot Willie's. We gonna do a burnout? Yeah. Let off the steering wheel. Whoa! Shit! There's a light pole there, you idiot. What's going on, everybody? So it's about 45 degrees out here. It's been storming all night, drizzling all morning. Everything's nice, wet, cold, and all that good stuff. Instead of waiting for a nice sunny day, I decided today is the day that I'm gonna roll around in the mud and uh, try to get the C10 back up and going. So old C10 here, she's been uh, sitting for, I don't know, probably over six months, I'd say. It was sitting over there on the other side of the shed, but uh, attempted to drive it down the road a few weeks ago because my dumb ass forgot why it's been sitting, which is because this front passenger side brake caliper is locking up. Went to turn in driveway down the road and hit the brakes, and when I did, I about went into the ditch and crashed this rig, and that there uh, reminded me that my damn brake caliper was locking up, and that's why she's been sitting. It's just this side locking up. I would like to go ahead and replace both of them, but you know, it's nice and cold and wet out here, so I'm just trying to get this thing going to where i can get it out from under this tree for now because i don't want it sitting right here because we've had a couple bad storms the last couple nights and should have some more next few days so i want to get this one caliper changed so i can get it moved out the way right now it won't move it just spins goes back and forth kind of shakes its booty a little bit i reckon but yeah i need to screw this in the radiator gotta fill it up with water had to drain the water out because got under 30 degrees there actually down into the teens a few nights We'll do that later, but I gotta find a battery first. We'll get her fired up. Do a little cold start for y'all. I don't know, I might try to move it, see how she acts. Let's see if we got any power. All right. It's probably going to take old girl a minute to fire up. This carburetor is not happy when it comes to cold starts on this motor. And it's actually not even the carburetor because I tried this carburetor on my daddy's C10 over there. Tried it one morning on a cold start. It wasn't as cold as it is now, but it's still a cold start. I just pumped the gas one time, hit the key, it fired right up, idled perfect. So I'm thinking I need to, might need to swap my distributor or something out and try that. But anyway, let's see if old girl will fire up, get some fuel up to the carburetor. That sounds about right. There are a few pumps. See what she does. A few more pumps. Keep pumping. Almost, almost, almost. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, almost, so close. Go ahead and turn the pump back on. Yeah, it's gonna take her a minute. Ah, yeah, like I was saying. Come on, baby.
see if the brakes are even more stuck than they were. Might just try to bleed them a little bit and then drive it down the road a couple times and see what happens we'll try that for now and then go from there all right bled the driver's side it was squirting out pretty decent clean looking fluid this side over here really couldn't get to the damn nut on it or bleeder valve deal was wallered off so crap was aggravated to get loosened up I'll show y'all what it looks like coming out. This side here is pretty nasty. This is the passenger side. Well, it really ain't squirting out. Truck just rolled forward, so I guess it was sticking. I got them both uh, bled a little bit. Said there ain't much coming out on this one, so I don't know. I'm gonna run it down the road, see what it does now. Might need to replace the mass cylinder. 
calipers and lines honestly probably wouldn't hurt to do it all especially as nasty as that fluid is coming out of there and then the driver's side over there it was squirting out decently clean but it wasn't a lot of pressure so my master cylinder there might be going out on me i don't know if it's ever been replaced i might have replaced it one time i don't know i can't remember replacing it so i wouldn't doubt it if it was going out in the middle jack both of them up i want to spin the tires you know while they're up in the air to see if they're stuck any now or what and then i'm gonna pull the passenger side off pull that caliper off and uh go replace it yep that one is stuck which i already knew that all right driver's side okay driver's side free rolls i think we're just gonna we're just gonna do this one for now i know i should do both of them i'd rather do both of them but i think i can get away with just doing this one caliper for now old girl kind of looks good like that a little air on her front tire man if i could just get it to leave like that man i'd be in heaven damn this thing got five lug nuts on it yeah Thought it only had four. <laughs> Damn it, boy. I not believe that. Come on off of there. Yeah, you can tell she's definitely stuck. <laughs> this tire ain't even on the ground. I was able to get all the lug nuts broke loose. I got an impact. I don't know why I don't use the damn thing. It's only three more lugs, though. So we're not going to go get the impact. I don't know. Maybe I should go get the impact. Yeah, we only got one left now. Screw that impact. Yeah, I'm lug nuts are a little warm. I wonder why. <laughs> Alright. Oh, damn, that's hot, you freaking idiot. Damn, why I gotta be so stupid all the time? They don't look bad, though. My rotors don't. Oh, hell. I really ain't got much pad left, do I? Yeah. I was just gonna replace the caliper. I wasn't trying to replace the dang pads, too. Come on, now. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm still gonna just replace the caliper. Them pads will last another three years as much as I drive this old girl. I don't know. We'll see what they look like when I get it off. See how bad they ate into. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? These has got that freaking Allen head bolt. Oh, hell. That's gonna be fun, I'm sure. Oh, the Allen head. 
It's a nice tight fit too. Damn! Damn, that's hot! Golly! Damn, quit forgetting, you idiot! Uh. Yep. I realized I was going the wrong way. So I just tightened the hell out of them. <laughs> you don't want up in there. Don't need you slipping out. Stripping out. I wonder who decided to use Allen Allen head bolts on damn brake brake calibers in the first place. What kind of idiot does that? Of course, these damn things are tight as hell. It's gonna take me three days to get them out with a freaking Allen head. All right, well, I found this little star bit deal. It kind of fits in there a little bit, but I think it'll be faster than. Yep. Faster than a freaking Allen head wrench. Just not the right size, and it keeps kind of popping out. Uh, I guess I might take a bolt with me to the parts house and get the right size. Uh, come on out. Come on out of there. Hey, give me my damn screwdriver. Uh, give me my screwdriver. Alright, brake line. Yep, fluid squirted on out that time, so I guess it was getting fluid to it, right pressure and all. So hopefully it is just our caliper, not the uh, master cylinder, which the fluid dripping out of it looks clean. It was just nasty coming out here, so should be our caliper, should be our problem. There <clears throat> And it's still kind of hot. Mm, damn. Brake pads, I'm not going to show y'all those. Because then y'all uh, probably wouldn't like <laughs> wouldn't like what I'm doing here. Because I'm just changing the caliper. We're just trying to get this damn girl to move, drive down the road without the brakes locking up. Don't worry, they got a little bit of life left in them. Not a lot, but I don't drive it a lot. And it's a shit box, so don't expect a lot from me. I'm sorry. Right now, we're just changing the caliper. Just trying to get the old girl going again. All right, we headed up here to get this caliper real quick. Get a little more gas in the jug. Try to get on back. trade-in brake caliper or if I'm going to have to pay for it. Either way, we're getting damn brake caliper today. Caliper there, too. You said this is a core? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to exchange it. I got some tools. I can take it off. And I might you need grab it. it off there. You never know. You may need it. You may need it. Oh, brake clean, brake clean. Where the hell is the brake cleaner? I like this Denali sitting right here beside me. Ever looks good. All the truck really needs is some good, you know, meaty tires. I mean, them ain't the biggest in the world, but it looks a lot better than daggum 24 by 20s with the fucking front end eight foot in the air and the back end dragging the ground. But we got a uh, car cleaner. They didn't have the uh, brake calipers here. He's gonna order them for me. 
got uh, $25 left in merchandise credit. So we did get our $10 a piece for our batteries and the brake caliber is, there's one for $29.99 and one for $32.99. So either way, damn near a trade. He let me look through the computer there at all my warranty stuff. Didn't have no warranties on it, but it turns out I got uh, brake pads for this rig that's under warranty. Old girl just so happens to need some brake pads. So, at least I know I can swap the brake pads on here. Unfortunately, I didn't have a uh, caliper under warranty. Actually, uh, I forgot. He said that uh, I bought a driver's side caliper. So, if we need to, I can take the cal driver's side caliper off and uh, come warranty it out. At least that I had a warranty on it still. I bought the driver's side before I just think I guess I haven't ever changed the passenger side so I guess I skimped out the last time I changed calipers too <laughs> imagine that unfortunately C10 won't be back together today I have to come back up here in the morning he said they should be here in the morning I'll come back in the morning get the caliper and then hopefully we can get it put on tomorrow but I got the car cleaner there so I'm gonna go back to the house Chow down, boy. Three bucks for all this. And it's damn good, too. Plenty of gravy. Good shit. Can't beat it. Pulling up at the zone. Looks like boy Henry's here. So he'll already know what I'm after. Hopefully he'll have it sitting there and ready for me. All right, well, we got our caliper here. Brand new thing. I had a uh, brake cleaner and brake fluid and the lubricant on little bundle deal for eight bucks i went ahead and grabbed one of them i figured i'm gonna need brake fluid and uh stuff anyhow so went ahead and grabbed that now just gotta go over here to the doctor's office and wait on my mama to get out of the doctor and then we'll be headed back to the house put this caliper on and see what's gonna happen got our new caliper and stuff here got our old brake pads stuck up in there Plenty of life left on them, so you don't y'all worry about that. Come on. Come on up in there. Come on, work for me, baby. Come on. Nah. Nah. Bastard. Yeah. I guess these bolts here are a little more wore out. Yep. <laughs> This fits in here a lot better than the old one. Alright, let's do it the, the slow way. My freaking Allen head barely fits in here. I guess I should have just put my old bolts in it. Since they was a little looser. A little wore out, you know. Damn, these bolts are tight fit. Damn. Ow! Yeah, the old ones are wallered out. It goes right up in it. <laughs> I could be done by now. They're just a regular bolt. Or if I wouldn't have forgot to get the, the freaking socket. Ellen head socket. That one definitely helped. I meant to get one, but totally forgot. Go as far as we can. Come out. Oh. Uh, Stuff like this is why I hate working on vehicles. Almost there though. Almost there. All right. Got a brake line on there. Brake line. Tighten it up. All right. New brake caliper is on. Might see if I got a little black paint. Just 
spray on it real quick just so it won't rust i meant to do this before i put it on here but whatever it is what it is paint the rotor a little bit oh wow make sure we get the back side all right ain't that just beautiful well i guess now we'll fire the old girl up bleed our brakes and go see what she's gonna do shut her down for a minute heard something rattling looking around here we got a damn bolt backing out what the hell oh man i got lucky i think i got it look at that we got it screwed back in there and i might be able to get a wrench in there on it i got it screwed back in there i'm gonna pop my brake fluid off and then we'll try again all right, we got them bled a little bit. Probably wouldn't hurt to do them a little bit more, but uh, I'm gonna run it down the road real quick, see how it acts. You know, got that four wheel drive over there I'm working on. I ain't got much time left today, so got them bled out enough, I think, just to go try it out. See what we got here. Hopefully we got her fixed. There for a moment, I thought it was my master cylinder because I couldn't get no pressure over here to the side I kept pumping and pumping and pumping and it wasn't never all uh, getting getting nothing over here but finally got it to pump up get this wheel tightened back down on here and we can drop this rig down and we'll see what she'll do try this baby out well would you look what i find after i get the damn brake caliper back on this is the allen head socket i needed that i couldn't find yep that's how it goes <laughs> you always find what you need after you done got it all done and over with
music goes on there. We going to Pop Willie's, boy. Huh? We going to Pop Willie's. You gonna do a burnout? Pine straw got all blowed up against the back of the damn bed there. Nice and clean pine straw. Probably be comfortable. Move that stuff and lay down. Have your little bed. Old C10's back in action. Uh, brakes are working perfect. They ain't locking up or anything like that. So C10's back up and going. Ready to rock. Well, I did see a little drip of oil when it was running every now and then. Uh, coming from the back of the motor somewhere. Oil pressure line or intake valve cover something like that i guess uh wouldn't be a small block chevy if it wasn't leaking a little oil but she's pretty much ready to go i'll look into the oil leak there and get that figured out might run her up to the car wash or something this weekend get her cleaned up and cleaned out and looking good again but yeah she's back up and going ready to roll so uh, we're gonna end this one off right here y'all just uh let me know what y'all think about it we'll see y'all in the next one later thank my boy jerry here for a ride on everybody